Hey pool fans, welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about something you see in every single video I put on my channel. It's this, it's the Clash Steel Pro. First things first, I must be honest. When I was selecting a table for my games room, it was for the sole purpose of my YouTube channel. So the number one priority in my head was the table had to look cool, it had to look modern. I wanted it to be black, I wanted some chrome going on. It was all about a visual effect for every single video I put out on the YouTube channel. So the second thing that concerned me was how the table played. Usually that would be the first thing. So having never played on a clash table, I wasn't too sure. But when I seen pictures of it, I knew this was the table for my games room because I knew it was gonna look awesome on the videos I sent to you guys. For now, we're gonna stay on the look of my table. I'm gonna give you a little tour around the table and show you some cool little features. So because what Clash have done is they've got the chrome corner pieces, obviously on all four corners, that's why I went for the matte black. I think it's super modern. I think it looks great on the videos. And the top of the table, the black pockets, they've even got these chrome circle, whatever you call it. I think that's what fixes the pocketing, but I just think visually it looks awesome. While we're talking about the pocket, also what the guys at Clash have done is at the back of this pocket, I know you can't see, but this is chamfered, it is at an angle. So let me show you what happens. Ball comes in pocket, hits the chamfer, and goes down into the pocket. I'm sure we've all done it, you've all seen it. On the older tables, they can hit this pocket and fly back. So this is why they've put this little angle in and down. Also, balls won't bounce back up out of the pocket because of this. The material they have used is not a rubber or a hard rubber. A lot of the tables you see, it's that thick sort of rubber stuff. So often when a ball bounces in, it can rebound and bounce back out on the table. But this is like, uh, what type of material is it? It's like what a, a rucksack bag is made out of, but it's very solid. But I want to just show you how big the actual depth of this bucket pocket is. I'm going to put all 15 balls in the pocket. Look at that, loads of room still. That is a good touch because often when you play pool, four or five balls can go down in one pocket and you're pulling them out. This isn't an issue, all 15 balls. Pocket size, 11.7. That is the standard requirement for WPA, that is the World Pool Association events. I've left the pockets as they are, but you can special request the size you want with the guys at Clash. And the last touch, what the guys at Clash have done is, you can personalize your table. I didn't know this was coming. They sent this as a bit of a gift. This little logo, as you can see here, this is the actual logo they've made. That was a little gift off the guys at Clash, so I appreciate that. Europe, USA, of course, the Moscone Cup. What a nice touch. You can have what you want in there. You can have your wife's name, your dog's name. Do what you like, but you can personalize your table. That's on all four corners as well. No, I'm not sleeping on the job. I've decided to crawl under the table to show you this bad boy. This is a huge steel frame that goes all the way around the table and the slate sits on top. That is to maximize precision, that's what they say. And it's a three piece slate, 30 millimeter thick. So we've got three pieces of slate that sit on top of the big steel frame. And that got me thinking, I used to have a, a three-piece slate table in here a few years ago. I'm not going to tell you the brand, and I don't know if it was poorly fitted or what, but I remember the slate had lifted. So when you rubbed your hand over, you could feel a little lip, which caused the ball to jump a little bit. I'm sure you guys watching this video have often seen that yourself or felt it. But when I was under the table then looking at it, I realised that's not happened on here. Is it good fitting? Is it the way the table's made? I don't know, but that's not happened. There's no lip. What is a big bounce? Well, it's when the ball rolls on 
to the rail and it comes off a lot quicker. That is what we call a big bounce. I'm sure if you play a lot of pool, you've seen that. If you didn't know what that was, well, that's what we call it. We call it a big bounce. And I don't really know why that happens. You can be playing on a table one, one day, the day after go back and it can be bouncing a bit funny from time to time. Some people say it's to do with air conditioning and things like that. I'm not so sure. I don't have the answers. If you have the answers, whack them in the comments. Let's see if you know. My games room is a converted garage and I don't always have the radiators on in this room. So it can be cold, it can be warm. But in eight to 10 months, to not have a single big bounce, it must be down to the Vector 59 rubbers. It has to be. I don't know what rubbers other table manufacturers use, but most of them I've played on, you do get a big bounce. This, well, it's not happened yet. So that is my pool table, the Clash Steel Pro. It's the third table I've had in my game room. I've had a Dynamic, I've had a Diamond, and now I've got this bad boy. I selected this table because I believe it looks really modern, really cool, and I think it has delivered. I'm gonna put the link in the description so you can see all the cool features. You can change the laminate color. You can do what you want with the logos. Take a look, guys. Also, the company behind Clash is Lunchtown Billiards. They have been in the industry for over 100 years, so they know what they're doing, and I think they've really delivered. I am super happy with my pool table. Guys, if you've enjoyed this video, smash the subscribe, smash the like, hit the bell. I'll see you soon.